आओ बच्चों आज क्लास सिक्स का चैप्टर टू पढ़ते हैं चैप्टर टू का नाम है कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ फूड इन द लास्ट क्लास वी स्टडीड अबाउट फूड वेयर डज इट कम फ्रॉम लेट्स रिकॉल इट इफ यू हैव नॉट वॉच माय लास्ट वीडियो सो द लिंक इज फॉर इट इज इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स नाउ यू हैव टू मेक अ लिस्ट ऑफ फूड आइटम्स दैट यू ईट लाइक चपाती दाल राइस घी भिंडी मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम वी सी दैट आर मील्स यूजली हैव एट लीस्ट वन आइटम मेड अप ऑफ सम काइंड ऑफ ग्रीन लाइक राइस वीट एक्सेट्रा अदर आइटम्स कुड बी दाल मीट वेजिटेबल्स कर्ड यमी बटर and pickles i think you have remembered it oh today's topic is components of food and components of food are called nutrients a food is made up of one or more ingredients which we get from plants and animals these ingredients contain some components that are needed by our body these components are called nutrients let's revise what are nutrients or major nutrients in our food first nutrient in our food is carbohydrates second proteins third fats fourth vitamins fifth minerals Six and seven dietary fibers and water. Now, how can we test in which food which nutrient is present? So let us do activity one. Testing of starch in raw or cooked food. Mostly main carbohydrates found in our food, and which is. are in the form of starch and sugars now test of starch in a food either it is raw or cooked you have to take a small quantity of food item like cooked rice or potato put two or three drops of dilute iodine solution on it if the color change into blue black i am again repeating if its color change into blue black it contains stars otherwise there is no stars in it first we have seen about the testing of stars in a raw or cooked food now the second activity in which we have to testing of protein in raw or cooked food let us see the procedure take a small quantity of food item like milk egg paneer etc which contain protein if the food you want to test is in solid form first you have to make a paste powder it and then put some food in a clean test tube after that add 10 drops of water in it and shake the test tube gently after that add 2 drops of copper sulfate solution and 10 drops of caustic soda or sodium hydroxide to the test tube shake well the test tube and let the test tube stand for a minute you see solution of the test tube turns violet you can see below the link and what is the conclusion of this activity a violet color indicates presence of protein in the food item now one more testing is there testing of fats in the food items let us see the procedure of testing of fats in food items take a small quantity of food containing fat like ghee or butter wrap in a piece of paper and crush it you will see some oily patches would appear on the paper 
and if you pass light through the paper you cannot see the paper transparently or you can see that the light fainted through this patch now what is the conclusion of this activity an oily patch on the paper shows that the food item contains fat oh you have tested three nutrients one is carbohydrate second is protein third is fat now let's recall it first we take some food items like raw potato if we test the, through the starch then you will get the results it means raw potato contain starch not protein or not fats in it second is milk if starch testing is there there is no starch in the milk you will test protein test after that there is no fat in the milk groundnut similarly fats are present in cooked rice starch is present dry coconut contains fat and a cooked dal contain protein this chapter is divided into two videos so there will be another part of this chapter that will explain about the rest of the chapter thank you please do subscribe and don't forget to like and share